The Seminoles had six players in double figures tonight, the first time that's happened in two years as they cruise past the Iona Gales 99-78. to Obviously, um, we, we were very efficient, I thought, in the first half. <coughs> we shot 57% from the floor overall for the game, 6% in the first half. Um, defensively, I, I thought that we got some good stops. Uh, we got out in transition as a result of, of, of the stops we got and, and got some easy basket games and confidence. Um, it, was, it was great balance just because we threw them off their game by throwing so many different lineups at them. Uh, we kept guys fresh and they didn't really, you know, sub in all their guys. I think they subbed in like two people off the bench. So we kept guys fresh and threw them off their game a little and we just kept on, you know, with our basics, what we had to do. Well, I think it's pretty good, man. I think everybody, you know, played, locked in, locked into our scouting report. So I think that's the major key thing that happened. I thought that guys were locked in the last couple of days, uh, and listened in tune with the scouting report, and, and we went out and, and tried to follow the strategy that we thought was best for us to win the game. So I, I, I see a, a level of maturity developing with this team. We got a lot of stops. I mean, even though we had a lot of turnovers ourselves, we still forced a lot of turnovers. We forced a lot of bad shots. Um, a lot of times we kind of bailed them out with fouls, but I feel like we played great defense overall. Yeah, for sure, man. Because we got a lot of transition buckets, so I think that thing. I think our, uh, you know, our defense, our principles, we locked in on those. So, and we uh, we ran into our scout for mostly. So just listen to the coaches, and that's basically what we're going to do. Working our defense this year. Next up for the Seminoles, they take on Winthrop Friday night at 7 p.m. right here in the Tuck. For Seminoles.com, I'm Lauren Vickers.